Hello, I'm DHG Warrior X4, and today I'm actually going to do something completely different. I'm not doing any gameplay or anything, unless you consider Minimator as a game. A lot of people don't know how to use Minimator correctly, so I'm just going to go over this real quick. Left click, you know, you can just circle around and stuff. Uh, you knuckle it to the ground. And mouse wheel, you can zoom. You can just read that. Just read it. I'm too lazy to read it. So, to get like a character and everything, say you would, wherever he would spawn, he won't spawn your center point, he'll spawn where you did. So, I get character, there he is. Uh, you can change a model, anything in the game, plus some more because they did, uh, they did the pyro, meet the pyro, in Minecraft with this, so, they got the blue unicorn in the pyro land, baby. And skin, you know, browse skins and everything, and... Yeah. Like, there's some, if you just open it, there's skins, and it'll, it'll tell you there's skins, and, see, like... Let's change it to villager. Okay, villagers are weird looking. Don't make it a villager. Just don't. Make it notch. And there's notch. Now to animate, you want to go like this. You want to go down here. And you click. You set a keyframe. And what you can do now is up here there's this little character you can select any of the body parts and say you just want to make him wave so you have his right arm right now you want the position actually no not the position you want it to go rotation you can move that up And you want to make it, don't make it bend a little bit actually, because that, that does look a little bit weird. And then you can, you know, make him wave, but every time he waves, you'll have to set a new keyframe so it'll actually work. Like, watch. Is that one right there? That was a little weird. You have to actually hold the circles on these, like, the entire time, or else it'll be like, it'll, it'll glitch sometimes. And now watch. Now he's waving. And, uh, so, you know, select his head. Rotate, oh wait. Wrong key. Headbang. Notch headbanging. Yeah. You can, uh, take his body, move his entire body, make him, you know, bow. Make him, like, bend backwards and kill himself. If you really hate him that much. Err, uh, you can make him spin in circles like a retard. Yeah. And then you can reset. Reset. And with the position, you just... I have hold of his arm right now. His right arm. So, you just kind of take it and move it anywhere you really want. And then you can reset it. Yeah. Okay, now, so I'm going... Hang on, actually, let me move him. Select all. And then just, just move him. No one wants to see Notch right now. You can add things. Say you want to add block. Here's your block. It's types, item, block, or scenery. See, it's obviously a block. 
you want it to be you know say you know I I don't know what what do you want it to be you say a, a redstone block if I can find it I am oh, I don't have a redstone block I was looking for that whatever let's just gold bore and then you collect it. And then look at that. You gotta go. Okay, there he is again. Hey there, Nachi. Oh, just cause the keyframe. Get over there. Now, uh, no, just watch this animation because I did that. Just don't. We can go back. Is this gonna? Uh, I didn't grab. This is gonna be all sorts of weird. Let's watch this. <laughs> okay. Anyways, no more messing around. So what you can do with the block is you can raise it, move it around. You know, anyway, you can spin it, rotate it, or you can, you know, grab it and do the same thing that you can do with the red, just the other way. And say you want, like, an Enderman to come in and eat this block's face. That's hard to do. Unless you, um, unless you know some of what you're doing on this. So let's just add another character. Let's make him an Enderman. Let's step him back a little bit. Let's take his body and bend it. And you take his arm, and you bend it. His arm is in the block. Okay. Scoochie. And then, you know, just... Just move it around so he's grabbing it. He's grabbing the block. And then... You can set the other keyframe, so... Just move his arm up. You can make some pretty derpin' animations on this. Just... I, I made one, and... It was fairly scary. But that's how derpy it was. It was scary. And, yeah. Gee, he picked up the block. Now to make him run away. Yeah, it's fairly simple. You should be able to get it. It's, it's not hard. You just do do. And then, do do. You select all, then you move them forward, then you select the block, you move it forward, then you set another keyframe, and another one, but you want to select the end man, and you move this one back so it looks like he's going to get fallen. And this one forward, and then select all, and you move it forward, and then select the block, and you move it forward. This is going to look really weird. Yeah, there you go. There's an end moving. 
What you can also do actually is um you can add special blocks, which is a chest. Chests are a special box. Because you can open the chest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can just open the chest and make the top spin in, spin in circles. Or you can grab the bottom and make the bottom just go everything, so. Yeah, I know for the special block. No one cares about the special block or the Enderman. Or that block. Or even Notch. Get an item. Default is a leather cap. I know it looks like iron, but this was after the update where you could dye it and they decided to dye it to make it look like iron. The iron armors. Let's just get my gold ingot. And there it is. And you can do this. Oop. Oop. Just, you know, make it spin in a circle and go down at the same time. And then you make it spin in a circle and go up at the same time. And then just. Yeah, it killed itself now because. Well, I, I guess I killed it. And scenery. Um, down here I'll say schematic. And I'll open. It'll open a window. And it will have schematics. You want to open the schematics folder and it'll have a list of things you can open. Like right now I'm going to open a windmill schematic. I don't know what this is because I have not used the windmill schematic and it will load it up. It takes a minute. Yeah, I don't think it's responding. Don't tell me it just crashed. It always crashes on me. It's not responding. Eh. Why? Wait for it. Why do you do this? Alright, well, I'm gonna cut it. No, no, there we go. Alright. Um. So, as you can see, it loads a lot of stuff into this. Because it wants to. And it has made me a nice little windmill that I can go inside and crawl up to the top and kill myself off of if I if I so desired. You know, you just crawl crawl through here with your with your smart ruby mod and kill yourself off of here and die. And then you know you can delete this anytime, remove and you know, the background, and you can move this and make it all daytime, nighttime. I I personally like it when the sun's just coming up and the moon's going down because you can see both. That is why I like it. You can change the sky color. Let's make the sky green. Look at that green sky. It's ugly is what it is. Um, it's actually almost about it. Except for the lighting. Um, yeah, you can make lighting and stuff. And I thought the lighting was cool. Because the strength of it can make it stronger, can make it weaker. I'm going to keep it about 50%. You can change the color so you can make it, you know, a red light. And you can make it a green light. Well, you can't really tell it's green because the grass is green. Here's how you tell. 
you go to the terrain and you select where's wool uh, whatever and grab some black wool uh, no grab that there we go so as you can see the light turned from white to red to whatever else I did to green I can't remember that far from what I did help me Ah, that is it for today. Actually, uh, there is nothing else on Minimator that I can really teach you how to use because you can do it yourself. It's not complicated. This is extremely easy compared to everything like Cinema 4D and Maya and all that. Um, so, yeah, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Goodbye.